All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous <clears throat> summer morning here in the end times. Feels like a Sunday morning, but it's actually a Monday morning. September 4th. It is Labor Day 2023, which might be the hottest day of 2023. We are finally getting some summer here on Labor Day, but looks like it will be gone on Thursday. So, uh, the uh, vacation tourists are gathering their stuff together and Heading out, and uh, after the last big hurrah, going back to doing whatever they do. The great mystery of what people do for a living uh, with their lives. And, uh, guys, I gotta say, after the uh, <laughs> looking at the analytics otherwise known as the stats on my rant yesterday. Uh, I am, I, I have to admit, guys, once again, I, I'm questioning what the fuck I am doing with my life and my, and, and my labors. That rant I put on yesterday, what was the name of it? It's high time that lesbians with dicks stand up to the bull dykes or something like that. Uh, that rant was, in my opinion, well, if not the number one best, most hilarious video I have ever put on Humpty Dumpty Tribe in my entire life. It certainly rates in the top five. Uh, <clears throat> You know, if I had found that rant on Netflix, I would have uh, listened to it and, and said, that motherfucker is the funniest son of a bitch on the planet. It was, uh, it, 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 it brought together, well, just obviously genius. It is comic genius. <clears throat> it brought together, it's very nuanced, it was extremely nuanced irony, it was dark, <clears throat> absurdist, ironic humor at its, it, it, it's the best I've got. I was very proud of my, uh, what I consider my five-star performance on that rant yesterday. Uh, trying the nuanced approach to the, the tranny kerfuffle. And uh, I noticed today that 101 people on a planet of 8 billion people, if you can believe these view counts, <clears throat> 101 people on a planet of 8 billion uh, <clears throat> listened to that <coughs> listen to that rant yesterday and I guess I have three comments three comments on the single greatest comedic performance that I have put together in, uh, well, probably since uh, some straight talk about pussy or how to fuck a goat, which uh, I will get to those two in a minute. But I do notice that Vegematic, Brother Veg, out of 8 billion people on this planet, uh, and out of the 101 people who bothered with uh, tuning in to that comedic masterpiece, uh, got it. He understood that he was witnessing a, a comedic 
genius performance by one of the funniest fucking human beings on the planet, if not the funniest motherfucker on the planet, who of course is Hambone Littletail. Uh, at least Veg uh, had the power of uh, discernment, critical thinking, and nuance to understand uh, what I was saying in that in, in that rant. But you know, guys, it it, it really is in, insulting to me. As I told Veg, you know, sometimes, <coughs> brother, I feel like I'm throwing my pearls at swine. I, I mean, I don't know of the other 100 people who clicked on that rant. I don't know how many of them finished it because it, it, it built. It was the second half is where I... I really hit my stride, you know, after I read the article uh, where I really hit my stride. So I don't know how many people on this planet made it all 35 minutes. My guess is Vegematic might have been the only person in, in 8 billion. Uh, made it to the end. But it really just, it just fucking depresses me, you know, that, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's tough being the funniest motherfucker on planet Earth. It really is. You know, when you are the funniest human being on the planet, you know, you, you can enjoy other comedians and other performance artists. But, obviously, you, you, you know, you get, you get a little bit jealous of, of how these goddamn multi-millionaire comedians who aren't half as funny as you are because they <clears throat> know the limits of the intellectual capabilities of 99% of the clueless morons on this planet. I, you know, I continue to suffer this delusion, I guess, that my listeners, uh, you know, ha have a little bit more sharply defined uh, you know, level of not being a clueless moron that they can understand uh, subtle humor, uh, and and they, they they can understand when they're listening to master satire what they're listening to that, uh, you know, satire, it's just, uh, it, it's, it's just a dangerous game, I guess, to play on, uh, on, on video, how people, they, they do not understand fucking satire, and, it, and it's really their loss, um, you know, the great satirist, uh, just uh, c completely fucking uh, misunderstood uh, by, by clueless morons through the ages from Miguel Cervantes right on through uh, where, you know, well, of course, that book, you know, makes me think of Confederacy of Dunces. You know, which uh, the title Confederacy of Dunces by John Kennedy Toole, who ended up killing himself, who ended up gassing himself in a car uh, after writing a book called Confederacy of Dunces that he could not get published. The single greatest work of satire of the 21st century uh, 
the title based on a quote by one of the greatest satirists in the in history, of course, Jonathan Swift, for God's sake, uh, could not get that book published by the Confederacy of Dunces. A mass store reigned around him uh, and ended up he he, di he just got so depressed after after spending I don't know how many years he wrote that book when he was in his 20s where he got that uh, worldview where a 20 something got that worldview but he ended up killing himself and I and and, and I understand why he just saw how completely fucking hopeless it, it was. Uh, <clears throat> what was that quote? <clears throat> There's one, I, I think, there, there, I can't remember one word, you know, con, a confederacy of dunces was based on that Jonathan Swift quote. And I'm not going to get this 100% right, but it's, when a true genius appears in this world, you shall know him by this sign. A confederacy of dunces is, it's something like gathered around him or aligned against him or whatever. It's a, you know, the confederacy of dunces. Uh, that Jonathan Swift and um, and John Kennedy Tool and Hambone Littletail, uh, I would say, are referring to, uh, of course, are, are the clueless fucking morons that uh, run this world, particularly uh, clueless morons uh, in you have some sort of authority or power uh, that the, the, these absolute clueless morons uh, who have no sense of irony running this planet. <clears throat> but thank you, Vegematic. And, and, and of course, you know, the, the only other person and probably the only woman uh, that I have ever met who has any clue what my sense of humor is about is, of course, Dulcinea. You know, the, the first time I ever saw uh, Maggie's face, you know, on video, she and Sandy and Chris from the natural progressive uh, were talking about, of course, what else should they be talking about? They were talking about Hambo and Littletail. And uh, Maggie uh, was pointing out correctly that Hambo and Littletail is the funniest son of a bitch on YouTube. Uh, you know, how that she, you know, just laughing till her goddamn stomach hurt. And this is one of the reasons, of course, that I fell in love with Dulcinea. Uh, which, of course, is uh, Don Quixote's mythical uh, love interest. Uh, <laughs> Oh God! But 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 Maggie gets it, and Veg gets it. Uh, you know, I mean, what is the point? Uh, the the if if that rant yesterday didn't. Uh, ring your bell I don't know what what will I you know a hundred views so uh, what I still think is probably my number one at least funniest video uh, from how old is this video I need to get out of the hot the hot September sun was that a 
it was a video that I made and sent out to Lulu. You know, if, if you don't remember Lulu, she was that Doomer chick from uh, Reno, Nevada. She is the only Doomer chick I have ever met on Humpty Dumpty Tribe that I uh, that I made the blunder in judgment of crossing the pink line with. The only one, and no, I never crossed the pink line with Dulcinea, and I will be kicking myself for the rest of my life over that. Uh, so anyway, it's, you know, when I, she dumped me, uh, Lulu dumped me after I ate a uh, crystal hamburger. She dumped me, and some straight talk about pussy was my, uh, <laughs> it was my send-off to Lulu. So at least it got 1,000 views. At least it, it has 1,002 views. Um, that, the classic piece of, uh, you know, side-splitting uh, hilarity. Some straight talk about pussy, where I just sat down and had some straight talk about pussy. And uh, I don't know how many people got that one. And then, of course, there is this strange little video. <clears throat> I don't know. You really have to be a, a, uh, a, a hardcore uh, trivia buff of Humpty Dumpty tribe. You might... <coughs> how many people out there remember... And this is truly, you get your, uh, you get your Humpty Dumpty Tribe gold badge. If you remember this YouTube channel I made 10 years ago, 10 years ago, called Doomudgeon. You know, D-O-O-M, Doomudgeon. I made four videos four videos. Uh, I, I had like 20 subscribers. I made four videos on that channel before abandoning it. Uh, and one of them was called How to Fuck a Goat. How to Fuck a Goat, where I just told this humorous story about... Uh, an encounter not with a goat, but with a with this woman at a party, uh, <clears throat> just telling this story of uh, about having this conversation uh, with this woman at a party, which was a classic. And I titled it "How to Fuck a Goat," and I notice it has thirty-four thousand views. 34,000 views on uh, how to fuck a goat <clears throat> on this channel uh, with four videos and about 20 subscribers. And here I am. I've been doing this for 15 fucking years. And I get 100... I get 100 hits... Uh, off, off, off uh, well, certainly the, uh, the best video of 2023. Uh, and it just... Oh, God, it just makes me question what the fuck I am doing with myself here on Labor Day. I, I, I am trying to lighten the mood about this, uh, this whole goddamn, what does Vegematic call it, the tranny kerfuffle. That he just doesn't understand what the tranny kerfuffle uh, 
is all about. You know, the tranny kerfuffle is one of one of the single biggest distractions in the history of the planet. It, uh, I, I just can't help but think that it is being played by whoever's playing it, you know, to divide and conquer uh, how people can get worked up into such a fucking lather uh, about something that has nothing to do with them. Uh... You know, this whole thing uh, about the trannies, uh, you know, in that, in that article yesterday uh, about how gays and lesbians are anti-tranny now. <laughs> you know, the, the layers of uh, ironic hilarity to... Uh, to, to, to people uh, who, who who study the human condition about uh, just just how people get so fucking triggered, and then uh, you make this very subtle video pointing this out, and as I say, I don't know of the other hundred people other than as in Vegematic, how much of that rant yesterday went right directly over people's heads. They had no clue what the fuck I was talking about. No clue on any level. Well, okay, I'm thinking <clears throat> Michael Campy. Uh, Michael, I'm going to, uh, I am going to give my good buddy Michael Campy the benefit of the doubt <clears throat> that uh, he he got it. <clears throat> uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, God, look at these leaves falling. Already the leaves changing and falling on Labor Day, so I see a another set of tourists. So I have one more set of vacation tourists. It's these four guys from India <clears throat> up there. I had to go play cop at midnight last night and get them to quiet down their <coughs> riotous behavior. <coughs> then I can return to <coughs> some level of normalcy. Anyway, guys, <coughs> I'm uh, doing what I can to do what I do on Humpty Dumpty Tribe which is to provide you with the single most hilarious, uh, ironic, absurd satire uh, that, that I can come up with. And uh, I, I, I do what I do, I put it out there, and I guess if Vegematic and Michael Campy uh, got some value out of it and a short laugh uh, <clears throat> understanding how this tranny kerfuffle this one more tiny piece of evidence of how fucked we are on this planet and I guess my work is not in vain I will continue to throw my pearls at swine and maybe some other doomer chick uh, will, now Gloria Naughty, you understand how, how fucking hilarious am I, I'm surprised Gloria didn't comment, 
Gloria, even you didn't comment on that video. Uh, I thought Gloria uh, might, might have understood the genius performance that she was <clears throat> witnessing. Oh, well, maybe some other Doomer check. Will come along and have any fucking clue what Hambone Little Tail is doing with his life. But right now, uh, I'm getting my life out of this hot, blazing sun on Labor Day. Uh, onward. Bye, guys.